Um, good morning and welcome. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Hope you're doing fine. I'm still doing fine. I am playing what has been requested by our good friend and viewer, No Cookie for You. I'm going to be playing Dark Souls today. What is Dark Souls? Dark Souls is a dark uh, fantasy survival RPG, I would probably call it. Um, which is known and has uh, crit been critically acclaimed for and has founded the Dark Souls series, actually been predecessed by Demon's Souls, I think. Or was Demon's Souls after? I don't even know. I think it was before. Um, a brand of games that will kill you. That's essentially what the game is about. It's it's going to kill you. It's, it's really tough. It's really harsh. It's not unfair, but it's really harsh. Um, and that's why people play it, because they like being punished. So, uh, no cookie likes to see me punished, and that's why he does it. Rip sanity. Rip sanity. I'm just gonna pretend like I'm a really, really good player. I hope the... Um, I'm gonna get the volume a bit lower. Let me know what the, how the volume is for you guys, and then I can turn it up or down accordingly. Um, so, I've played... What is, what is my previous history with Dark Souls? I've played Demon Souls on the PS3 for... A couple of hours or so, um, but I never made it past the first level. Didn't get it, didn't understand it, didn't enjoy it. It was a horrible experience. Um, Dark Souls, I've played for 10 minutes yesterday doing a tech checkup. And that's where I'm starting now. All fresh. Let's start a new game. Um, let's create a character. Character name. Um, I think we're going to call this uh, Cookie Muncher. In memory of no cookie for you, who I'm probably going to kill after the time. Uh, it's going to be a male character. So what I've what I've read, what I've heard is that the starting class and gift aren't actually that important. Aren't that important. However, I've also read that a high dexterity and high uh, high dexterity is usually better than high survivability. So what, in general, what you want to do, and oh, Bloodborne, I've played that one as well. Um, in general, is you want to try and evade rather than be hit. So that's that's what you want to do. So you want to try and evade anyway. So armor isn't that important because you're not going to get hit anyway, right? Da -da -da. Boss Prince tells you that I'm an 8-bit pic pixel since yesterday. Why that? Uh, that's because of the time that you viewed. You can type exclamation mark... Um, oh, is it now rank does the thing? Um, you can do exclamation mark top 10 rank. There you go. And you can also do top 10 hours. Here, kitty, kitty. I think the cat is hungry. That's a good start. Um, so... What I tried yesterday very briefly is the Wanderer, because he comes with very high base dexterity. Uh, he's also got resistance, which I hear isn't really worth it. Um, but I just want to try him, go with him. Um, starting gift also supposedly isn't that important. Um, so what I found very interesting is the master key opens any basic lock, initial equip for Thief. Kind of made sense. It's like there's always chests in these games you want to open. Um, and all the others I couldn't make much sense of. Like binoculars, do I really want those? Mm, can't tell. Tiny sprite called humanity. Sometimes found on carcasses. What? I have even I have no idea what you're even talking about. So I'll go with the master key just because I think I uh, understand what it is. Uh, physique. I'm not sure if that is something that impacts games well. So I'll just go with slim. Actually, looking at this character creation, I mean the game is a couple years old now. Yes, given that. But looking at the character creation, I would have probably just said no, no. This looks. Like nothing I wanna I wanna play. Um, what kind of haircut are we gonna go for? That's the most important one. Ponytail. Ponytail. That looks that looks wild. Party center. <laughs> what? Why would you call that part? Oh, parted center. I thought it was party center. I'm like, this is the haircut you party with. Semi long. Semi long. You could also call that semi short. Curly. That looks funky. And Bob. Yes, that looks like... If I were to play a scholar class or like a monk class, that's what I would pick. So I think I'm going to go with ponytail, right? Ponytail is always good. And color-wise, we're going to go for... Oh, silver. Look like We look like Gerald from The Witcher 3. That's what we could call the character as well. Gerald. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. <laughs> he looks like a character straight out of Oblivion. Dubious Karim, classic Xena, 
Great Swamp, Far East Traveler. They're all very happy at least, so that's good. Uh, I don't think we're going to see our face a lot, so I'll go with the dubious guy. And that's it. That kind of concludes the character creation. Let's start the game with this character. Here we go. This is Dark Souls 1. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the Furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty lords pulled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death. Death, destruction, and betrayal. Age of fire. Everything you need. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers. The man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. There we go. It's definitely a very a very good mood setup. A very good mood setup. The loading screen actually goes past so f so quickly that you can't even read what they what they talk about. So I don't gather yes, much indeed. from the, the background dark story. Sign brands the undead. It's more, and that's what Dark Souls game are and also known for. There isn't story per se. The undead are corralled and led to the north. But more lore, background story. Like it's like if you if you read a book Where about something that happened in the same world, kind of. To await the end of the world. Like it's it's like imagining that you read the Cimmerillion, and then you walk around this in Middle Earth without friend. the Lord of the Rings actually happening. And you die, of course. Ugh. Play grats. I don't 
look healthy. Here we go. Welcome to the Northern Undead Asylum. Hey Valnado, how's it going? How are you doing buddy? Very good morning. A wonderful Thursday morning to you. Good to see your face here man. How's it going? Right stick camera controls. Yeah, I'm just gonna bust through that because I've done it yesterday. So right button normal attack, right trigger, right trigger strong attack, which is weird. I would have probably made it the other way around, just because trigger is the button that I, or that all the games use more actually. So right stick is target release. I'm actually I'm playing this with the gamepad just because I think it was originally built for consoles and it just plays so much better with 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 the controller. I think you can play it okay with um, with keyboard and mouse as well, but it's it's been clearly built for controller. Clearly been built for that. There's only one problem. You hate me. Oh, why is that? Why is that? Oh, I'm scratching my head. I don't know why. Why is it that you could? Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Rest at a bonfire to recover HP. That's also something that they have in Bloodborne. That idea of a bonfire is like a safe place. No, honestly, why, why, why would Belnader hate me? It's like, hmm. I have power over you, my friend. Now I'm actually, I'm gonna find, I'm gonna find an occasion. Some occasion. We're gonna come up with something. Some occasion will present itself, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna make available a hat just like this to you. So this is the area of the first boss encounter, which it says get away. And I don't I don't even know if you if you can fight him. I think that you probably can. And there's people that do that sort of stuff. Like use no gear to fight like a boss. I'm not one of those people. I am not one of those people. So I'm just gonna do what I presume. I'm gonna be playing very noobishly. So if you've played or if you've watched Dark Souls before, you're probably gonna go, Oh God, why is he doing that? What is he doing? Don't tell me. Just just let me make the experience. Just let me let me do my own mistakes. Um, oh, shit. Like that. I knew that actually that was there, but I wasn't paying attention. Um, I'm probably gonna do things that aren't smart. I'm also gonna do things that aren't optimal I'm uh, optim optimal optimal sounds like one of those energy drinks uh, biological yogurt drinks optimal right so I've got my leather shield now got that out so now I can actually approach mr. skeleton here I, I could also dodge his arrows the arrows are actually flying comparatively slow oh oh I, I taunted him for unknown reasons. Oh, come on. Oh, actually, no. I'm, go I'm gonna ignore that because I remember from yesterday that I could find a scimitar down there. So, like, with the with the sword hilt I have here, I'm actually doing, like, 2-3 damage to him. If I equip the scimitar, I'm doing lots more damage. Um, there we go. Your 35th birthday is coming. Well... Why, why would that be interesting for me? Hmm, I, I don't understand. <laughs> well, I need to support anyone who's 35 years of age. Like, 35, perfect age. Like, I haven't haven't had a better age thus far. 35 is, is superb. I'm hoping that 36 will be just as good. But until that comes, we'll see. Right, so I made it past the first enemy. Um, and I haven't actually, I haven't died yet. So that's good. Um, back, back seven rows. So one, one of the most important mechanics here is actually the stamina. So in addition to the health bar, you also have the stamina bar. 
can I get up there? Oh, I think I can go up, can go the other way. Uh, and stamina you use for everything. So if you sprint, you use stamina. If you attack, you use stamina. So you really need to try to make do with as little actions as possible as to maintain your... I know that. I've, like, I can see the boulder up there. I, I'm just new when it triggers. There we go. What the fuck? It was aiming for me. It wasn't coming straight down. It was actually aiming for me. Oh, that fucker. <laughs> Oh, you found a new job? Oh, shit, shit, shit. Wait a second. I'll honor that in a second. Whoa, there we go. Great. I'm down to half-life already. I haven't done anything. I have not done anything yet. You found a new job? Congratulations, man. What is it? Where is it? What, what do you do? What, what, what is your profession? Where is it going to be? When are you going to start? Is it going to be good? How much are you going to make? No, don't tell us. Don't tell us how much you're going to make. I think I'll go back to the bonfire, right? Can I go back to the bonfire? Pretty sure I can. I don't want to go in there with a, like half health. That sucks. D and D says it will be. It will be great. Just as great as 36. He has to. How does how does 37 feel though? How does 37 feel? Are you are you 37 yet? No, I don't think you are, aren't you? Oh, there's the bonfire. So the, the world in this, as far as I understand, is actually open, so you can backtrack whenever you want to, and in parts from you, 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 what was that? You will have to backtrack. So, oh. Ah, look at that, shit resets. Stuff resets if you backtrack. That is new. You're from Bulgaria, you can't make much here, if you're honest. I had a friend from Bulgaria. Oh, was it Bulgaria? Oh, come on. Um, they were developers. They were developers. Are you one of them? No, you're not. M warehouse manager? Wow, cool. That sounds awesome. Manager? Oh, look at you. Well, in that case, you couldn't be wearing that hat anyway, so it would be completely wasted on you, wouldn't it? Nice. Congratulations, man. When are you going to start with it? So that means that you won't be watching the stream anymore, is that it? Uh, backstab, left stick, and roll. So, how can I get over there? Oh, I don't need to get over there. <coughs> oh, oh, so that ball opened that door. Now I'm with you. Oh, now I'm with you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. Now I'm not. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I are both undead. Hear me out, will you? We're both undead. Undead as in, I think we, we, if we die, we come back. That's kind of the thing. I really, I really like the tone the game has. It's very, it's very mysterious. It's very, and I loved that about Demon Souls. There weren't a lot of things that I loved about Demon Souls, but one thing I loved is that it, actually the, the way Demon Souls goes is it puts you into the game, you will die. And then you will be, you will find yourself at a sort of nexus, which is like, and it has that feeling, it has the feeling of being like limbo. It's like, it's where the dead go as they wait to move on. It's very, very similar to what the original Tristram felt in Diablo, Diablo 1. Um, and also if you've played, um, what's it called, the the LucasArts adventure with the, the on-game Mani Calavera, um, they've just remade it, I don't know. That had a similar thing, so that, that, that afterlife that isn't heaven or hell or, or wherever you go or wherever you think you're going to go. Maybe you're going to go back. But it has that, that limbo feeling. And I really like that. I really like that. So I want to hear him out, of Imagine course. Of I course. I failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know, and I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, so I need to ring a bell. Thing. Here, take this. An Estus Go, give me your stuff. An undead favorite. An undead favorite. Estus flask. Okay, oh, cool. And this. Yes, give me more. Give me all your stuff. 
I'm the Asylum F2 East key. Okay. No, I must bid farewell. I would hate to Why can't I take your... Death. <laughs> and thank you. Oh, so he comes, he dies and then comes back as a, as a demon? Or as a dark soul? So what is the Estus flask? How can I find out? Um, new status? No, that's not it. Change equipment. Estus flask. Um, toggle status. How can I ask the DM? Tell me what it is. Tell me what it is! I guess it's probably a health potion. But I wouldn't know. And there's that stupid ball. Okay, I can... Oh, I can... Oh shit, what is happening? Oh, is that him? Oh, he's disappeared. Shit, he's gone. Oh god, I, do I hope he doesn't come back as a bad guy. He looked badass. Got him. So take a deep breath and look away. Man, right, wield right weapon two-handed. Okay, what does that do? Left stick and RB kick. Left stick and right to jump attack. Okay. Now, how was, what was the kick? Okay, I need to go back and read that message again. The control scheme is quite different. Left stick and right button is kick. Left stick and right trigger is jump attack. Okay. I've got the jump attack, that works. No, okay, it didn't. I oh, was well, pressing the wrong button. Who? Hi! Yeah, jump attack. And then kick. Oh, the kick doesn't work. Uh oh. Hello! Oh, holy. Okay, he jumps quite far. Oh shit, there's tons of them. Okay, so attacks interrupt, so if I hit him as he tries to hit me, I can... Oh, you can parry! I can... I, can, I am awesome. I can parry arrows. Uh oh What is he doing? Okay. Left trigger parry, repel an enemy attack. After parrying, right button repost. Okay. Come here, then. <coughs> Okay. Oh, need to lock on. Oh, look! Look at him. He's he's using potions. The sneaky fucker. Okay. Okay. It's locked. I thought like didn't I take that stupid key? I, I thought I take I took the thief's key. I haven't been using it once yet. It's probably a fake. It doesn't it's it's not even real. It's not an item, it's not an actual item, it's more like a passive stat. So. Okay, I thought I could go through there. Okay, left trigger parry, right button repost. Or maybe can I only kick if I don't have it two handed? Let's try. Um, left stick and right button. No. Okay, that, that kicking doesn't work as I think it should. Right, moving on. <laughs> Hello! Now I have to fight him? Is that what, what you're telling me, game? Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> what the fuck? Uh <laughs> He's like, what you looking at? Butthead. Splam! Okay, now I'm, I'm back here. So do I have to replay it? Probably, yeah. Look, look at these arrows. <laughs> they're like, they're like targeted. Okay, this was death number one. One of probably many to follow. So is it... 
Okay, so the the progress is still the progress is still there. It's only the monsters that have come back. I totally did not expect that. <laughs> that was pretty awesome, to be fair. Oh, 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 shit, shit, shit. Take it easy. Oh, what are you doing? Target lock on. And let's try the jump attack. That was bad. That was bad. Broken straight sword. Is that any better than what I have? Probably not. Better than my sword hilt, though, so I'll go with that. There we go. Go two handed, so I can parry. Repost. Ow. Okay, so this time maybe I was standing wrong. It didn't really work. Okay, let me let me use one item. It is a health potion indeed. Okay, up next I probably I need to fight the monster. Right button while falling, plunge attack. Okay. Let's try, let's just try. Oh, recover lost power. Oh, retrieval. I'm not sure what I got got from it now, but okay. Cats are filled with chicken. You should have a quiet streaming time now. Awesome. Um, okay, let's do this. Plunge attack. Whoa, he's already half down. Nice. Can I do this again? Can I do this again? Ah! Run, 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 run. Okay, so what does he do? He swings his attack. Then he does a giant attack, and that's probably where I can get in. And then he jumps. Oh, shit! Got him, got him, got him. Ah! Don't so uh, it's it's about patience. It's about patience as well. Holy shit. Is that it'll be enough? It's enough. Got him. Woohoo! Not a lot of health left. Big kill bring big kick pilgrim's key. I don't know who this kick pilgrim is. And I found one humanity. What is one humanity? Is it like collectible resource? Hmm. Touch blood stain. Okay, that wasn't very helpful, but here's a here's a bonfire. Let's rest here. So what these blood stains do is actually they they show you, or at least that's what they do in in the other games. I don't know if that's actually live information here, but they show you where other people have died and how they have died like they they it will show you their last their, their last steps like so morning chris how's it going buddy i've been in touch about about your mouse pad dude i'm sorry it's it's dragging on for a bit but it's still in progress it's still in progress i'm going to find a way that you can get your mouse pad how are you doing this fine morning despite being mouse padless i hope you're doing good man Okay, is this where I originally escaped to? I'm kind of, I've kind of lost, I think, yeah, that's where I came in and then I went to the left. So now I've got a key. I can probably open that door, right? No worries. Okay, cool. Thanks for your patience, man. It was, it's, it was a fuck up on my side to begin with. So um, I'm going to make sure that it gets resolved. Alright, so, first boss monster done, first couple of enemies done, I kind of understand the game, I hear footsteps in the distance, which is never good, never good. So we're all here to actually congratulate, congratulate Valneda, um, I'm gonna do this because nobody else did it, well, not, not a lot of people here yet, where is it? Um, so Valneda, you said you found a new job? Surprise, motherfucker! Yeah, boy! Woohoo! Congratulations, man! Come on! Oh yeah! Congratulations! It's actually the the guy that um, good job. Go straight ahead. The guy that uh, sings sings tenor with me in the choir. He also found a new job. Um, he was looking like he sent out 177 applications over the last year. 
177. That's like a, an application every two days. And he finally got a new job. So it seems to be a good good time for job seekers. <laughs> what is this shitty game? This shitty game is Dark Souls 1. It's Dark Souls 1. It's actually very good, supposedly. It's 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 only a couple of years old already. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords, Lordran. Lordran. You know what? You can never play this. That's fine. That's fine. You don't have to. I'm here. I'm playing it for you, so you don't have to. It's uh, no cookie. No cookie made the wish uh, at the halfway mark to stream level two. <coughs> oh, that was the, but that was but the tutorial thus far. So he wished for me to play Dark Souls one. It's it's the the forefather of. Bloodborne, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, um, it's closely related to Demon Souls. In Lordran, level up and kindle at bonfires. Okay, I think that's that's what we're gonna do then. Oh, I always like, every time I sit down and that effect comes up, I think like, oh shit, I caught fire, it's step too far. So, what is kindling? Level up? Can I level up? I think I can level up. Oh yeah, four, five, six... Oh, okay, so the souls I collect allow me to level up. So I'm probably gonna go for... I have no idea what all these things do. Oh, I can actually check it here, can't I? Um, so dexterity and strength is probably what I'm gonna go for right now. Or dexterity and vitality. I feel more comfortable with vitality right now. Let's go like this. I'm just gonna pretend there's no way that I can... I can break the character. I probably can. So the the shtick of this game is that it's difficult. It's really hard. It's it's punishing. Cannot kindle while hollowed. <laughs> and also the game doesn't tell you shit. I have no idea what kindling means. I have no idea what hollowed means. So I'm just gonna level up. I think that's all I know. Hey JKM61, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, buddy. I can't talk yet. Bear with me, guys. It's still early morning. It is still early morning. How did somebody manage to die here? So, and this has the same the same feeling as I talked about before in Demon Souls, where it's like the the limbo. It's like that music, the way it's set up. It's all very quiet. There isn't a lot going on. There's not like NPCs walking around. So somebody put a message. Oh, imminent light rating three one two. What is imminent light? So the game is giving you more mystery well, than it needs to. Well, what do we to. have here? You must be you a, must new, be a rival. new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. Huh. Too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One Those are the ones that I'm supposed to ring? Church. The other is far, far below. In the ruins at the base of Blight Tower. Blight Tower. Ring them both, and something happens. <laughs> <laughs> and something sure. happens. Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, <laughs> I love it how the game's know. almost self-aware then. That's why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land, the undead. undead. <laughs> and that's what characters in these games are. They're just weird. Oh, look, I've got ten flasks now. That's perfect. Okay, so from here on out, the game, like, just gives me one goal, which is ring those two bells. So... No quest marker, no no path to follow. I think I'll probably just walk around a bit and explore. Found a firebomb. 
That is nice. Um, can probably equip them as well. Oh, I can... Can I switch that? Yeah, like so. So, let's find some enemies for our firebombs, eh? Back gesture, yeah. I don't I don't actually I don't need gestures. I can't gesture. Um what is like back and wave, point down, point up, point forward. Let's just wave. Hey over there. Hey the zone game of forty five, how's it going? Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Right, so what is he? Is he I'm scared. Is he gonna attack? No, he looks friendly. He looks like a big bad monk. Hello there. Big fat monk. <laughs> I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Okay, I don't think I've got business with you yet. So I still I still don't know why the kick isn't working. Oh if I if I hold down left stick, no. It did like an attack rush now. Can't reproduce that. <laughs> I'm good as well. Thanks for asking, man. Thanks for asking. Just just playing Dark Souls 1 for the first time here. Have not experienced this before. Um, but my dear friend and supporter, uh, No Cookie For You, asked me to play it. Because he wanted to see me suffer, I think, I think. So I'm I'm trying to make it a habit to not suffer and just enjoy the hell out of it. So that he's like, oh, but why aren't you annoyed at the game? Other than that, I'm still I've still got a bit of a cold. I still got a bit of a cold. But it is it is ever so slowly subsiding. You have to press stick forward and press the button at the same time for the kick. That was the kick. There we go. And that was the that was the jump attack. Yeah, that that works. Okay. Ah. I flicked the button. Okay, I understand it. It's uh, I've got like a good feeling from the game thus far. I'm only like half an hour in, or so, so it probably doesn't really count, and I have no idea where to go. Um, but I will find out. Can I go? No, I can't go down there. I can go up here. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Oh shit! I didn't even want to jump attack in this case. Uh, uh, uh. So blocking costs stamina as well. Got that. That was the first first successful jump attack. I was like, I'm, I'm waiting to, to just completely, to co get completely wasted by the game, but thus far, I've done okay. Oh shit. Thank you very much for that follow zone gamer 45. Much appreciate. Much appreciate. Oh, okay, target lock. I really need to, I need to remember putting the target lock on. Look at me! Look at me go! This is actually fun. This is good. This feels good. Thanks for the follow, man. Welcome to the Powered by Pixels Pixel Force. Where all of a sudden we seem to play hardcore uh, fantasy RPGs. Okay, back. Okay, so if they, if they come in rushing, then I... Oh, this is really dangerous. If I do the flick, and it works not just forward, but backward as well. Oh, no, because it's directional. So if I'm not careful, I might actually, like, kick myself off a ledge or something. And I don't want that. I would like to want that. This is the first time, yes. I've... I've, I know this this little bit, like, just up the stairs from a video I've seen a while ago. But other than that, my experience with Demon Souls is... No, with Dark Souls is I've played it up to this point. I've played Demon Souls for, like, a couple of hours, but never made it past the first level. And I've played a little bit of Bloodborne. But that's it. That is all. And this looks like a trap. Why does this look like a trap? Oh, shit. Oh, past red. Oh, oh, fuck. What am I gonna do with you? Can I just attack? Oh, I think... 
Ah, firebomb. Probably was completely unnecessary, but better safe than sorry. Holy shit, it's big. It is big. So you guys all, all Dark Souls professionals? You sound like you're the pros. Okay, how, how, what is the odds? What are the odds that this is a trap? Can't look. That's not a trap. <laughs> the game is just toiling with me already. It's just the expectations. Yeah, please, 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 don't spoil, don't spoil. Like, the, my, my policy on spoilers is if there is something that I'm going to miss as part of the game experience because I don't know that it's there. Like, oh, by the way, you know that before you end this level, if you go around that corner, there's a hidden cutscene or something. I'm cool with that. Um, if it's something like, oh, you need to use this weapon and with this sword on that enemy. No, 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 no. Don't do that. I, I just want to find it out myself. I just want to find him out. You can, you can sit there and go like, oh my god, what is he doing? No! No! Why would he? Um, but other than that, the code word is, guys, guys, am I missing something? If I say if I say that, then you can you oh shit, you can expect that I actually I actually need help I actually need help. but no. Other than that, I'm just gonna experience it like the noob I am. Oh, I always I always press the wrong button. 